Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you here is I've got a pencil. I've got my box knife. Not that I'm saying that this is what you need to do, but the pencil is obviously kind of dull. It's just got a nub on the end of it, and so I like to sharpen my pencils this way. I just take the, uh, the box knife and I just whittle away at the end of the pencil. Again, if you do do this, just be really careful. So what I do is I put a nice little point on there. And you can even take this thing and put it on some sandpaper and rub it to get an even finer point. But what I've done right there is a pretty good point. All right. Now I'm going to use a 11 by 17 inch piece of paper because I can fit most pick guards on that. I'm going to take this particular pick guard and I'm going to lay it on here like this so it fits. And when I trace, I'm, I don't have the pencil out at this angle. I have it either up and down or kind of tilted in. And I'm not pushing real hard. I'm just drawing a line. I'm holding the pick guard down with my hand the best I can so it doesn't move. And I'm tracing the entire thing here. So it's really important that you don't move the pick guard. If you have to tape it down somewhere, then that's what you need to do. So there I have the perimeter traced. Like in the neck pocket, I've got my pencil pointing in as much as possible, so my tip is giving me a good neck pocket cut. I'm going to do this kind of motion to get the hole the best I can, all of the holes. Now in the case of this pickguard, I'm actually going to use the holes themselves to drill the mounting holes, these outer perimeter holes. I'll cut these with the laser, but everything else will be drilled with the drill once I mount this to the template that I'm going to cut with the laser when I redraw it. Now the pickups, they're all chewed up and funky looking, and these are obviously wide range humbuckers. So I'm going to go ahead and draw those in there the best I can, even the chunky part here. And then I'm going to draw those mounting holes in. So now what I'll do, I'm going to, I've got the whole thing traced out, okay? I'm going to pull it off of there, and you can see what I've traced. I've traced the whole thing. And these parts are really messed up. So what I'll do is I have the wide range humbucker cut already, and I'll drop that on top of there just to get my center line because these pickups should be in center line with the neck and the bridge and so forth. So if I didn't draw those in there, it would be kind of hard for me to find the center line because I can't guarantee that that center line is going to be right on the center of that hole in the center. So I'll use those as a guide and I'll put the new humbuckers right in on top of there and then eliminate that part and then uh, you know, I'll eliminate the wide range humbucker part and then I'll cut the template and then drill the holes with the original pick guard. Okay, so here we're going to do another one. This is one of, the, one of the pieces from one of the situation videos that I showed you earlier where the truss rod cover was a little bit different than my TRC4, although the mounting holes line up perfectly. Um, mine is a little bit bigger. And the truss rod cover, basically it comes with a little bit of a back bevel and I do put that back bevel on all of my truss rod covers that have a, uh, have a flat bottom like that. So I might sharpen my pencil just a little bit more because the tip got a little bit dull from, uh, from that last one. And here we have an Epiphone Les Paul style pickguard. Same thing, sharp pencil. I'm going to trace the whole thing out.
Okay, so I've just traced the outer perimeter. Now I'm gonna do the mounting holes. Okay, so I've traced the pick guard and the mounting holes. Pretty easy trace job. The truss rod cover, same thing. I'm just gonna hold it down with my hand as best as I can, and I'm gonna trace the perimeter. Trace the mounting holes, and then I might write on here Epiphone Les Paul Jr. style. No idea what the year is, and he told me he didn't know either, and that's fine. I don't really need to know that. I could probably create a PDF from this and put it up on the website, which I will try to do so other people can get it. Then I got another job in today that has a, a It has this thing in it, okay? Now this is a cardboard, you know, a heavy cardstock cutout. So I don't even need to trace that. I can just put that in the scanner and scan it like it is because it's nice and flat. And uh, I know it's gonna be okay. And then when I cut out the template, I'll check it against this. So this one I don't need to trace. So this is kind of a nice thing that this guy sent me.